All right, I'm gonna go like really quick because I'm gonna go get my stuff on. So I'm just gonna intro what I'm gonna do on the ice. Um, just get into the hockey stuff. Um, basically the whole idea is we're gonna use a constraint line approach to develop players and then I have the technical, tactical, and transferable. Um, and I'll get into the, what, kind of what I mean by that too. So some of this stuff might be in the coaching clinics for USA Hockey. And it's been a while since I've been at one of those, but so if I repeat anything, like that's cool. Hopefully I dive into it a little bit deeper today. Uh, if they don't cover this stuff, then hopefully it'll be helpful for you. So what is constraint-led approach? Basically it's a framework for coaching that kind of differs from a traditional approach where it's going to be more designed on the coach constraining the environment and then having the kids figure out basically getting them to do what we want them to do without telling them. So what are the some constraints? Um, kind of three categories, performer, environment, task. The performer one you're not really going to deal with, but I think it's important to be aware of, like a player's certain mood or their size or their strength. Just be aware of that type of stuff is a constraint on their performance. Um, the environment is just going to be the area of the ice and boundaries on different drills. You know, it's not only small area games. It could be a two-on-one drill where you're saying you have to stay inside the dot lane. Um, and then task constraints are going to be our rules for small area games. So, you know, you have to pass twice before you can score. You have to score off a one-timer, stuff like that. So, example, kind of like showing the difference between like old school method and new school. Um, Let's say your players are holding the puck for too long and they're not passing. So in the olden days, coach would just scream at the player to pass the puck. We've found that creating a rule in a keep away game where they have to pass the puck in two seconds is actually more effective to getting them to do that. Otherwise, they lose their shift. So that's just kind of the example. Um, <clears throat> this is my last slide, so I, I told you it was going to be quick. I stole this from the University of Michigan head coach, Brandon Narado. I think he's one of the best people on planet Earth at developing skill. Um, basically, everything we're doing on the ice should be in one of these three buckets. So technical, we're working on technical skills. That's everything, skill development, skating skills, puck handling, technical shooting. We can still use the constraint-led approach with technical skills. So example, if you have a player that is having a hard time getting on their outside edge or putting pressure on it. Old school method would just be to tell the player, maybe show the player how to get on their outside edge. A constraint-led approach, or approach to that, not to sound, that's weird, but putting a black divider on the ice and having them step over with their right foot and saying, when you land on this right foot, I have to be facing you. So we're putting a constraint on the ice, they're stepping over, they have to shave on their outside edge and now they're facing you, okay? So we can still use that for skill development. The other example is like, if we've taken a golf lesson and you're coming over the top, right? And they put a pool noodle behind you to force you to not do that. Yeah, Cade, Cade comes over the top back there. He's one of my high school guys. That constraint, that pool noodle, is an example of, of this, okay? So tactical, this is getting into explaining the why behind certain stuff that we do. Um, and then getting into adding coach token pressure or player token pressure, getting them to read and react to certain things. And then the last one is um, transferable skills. So this is full pressure, live gameplay, small area games, stuff like that. So I, that was really quick. Um, I think I covered everything I wanted to, but I'm going to dive into a lot of stuff on the ice. So again, thank you for coming. Um, I wanted to get you out of here before, before football starts, so we'll, we'll, we'll try to do that. Um.